I invoke the presence of the lineage of teachers. I invoke the presence of the enlightened one. I invoke the presence of their teachings. I invoke the presence of the community of practitioners. I am inspired by the lineage of teachers. I am inspired by the enlightened one. I am inspired by their teachings. I am inspired by the community of practitioners. My path is supported by the lineage of teachers. My path is supported by the enlightened ones. Have grace to be exalted, liberator. We bow at the feet of the Lord of Compassion from the supreme abode of the Potala, born in the green teachers. syllable tongue. Your radiance liberates all beings. So let's talk a little bit about Tara and the Tantras. Because now I, we are going to move deeper into her mandala. And we told the first most important story. There are two important stories for you to associate with, with Tara. In the tantric deities, because the practices are developed generally, not in the sense of developing a relationship with the deity as one does in the Hindu tradition, where you invoke the deity, you make offerings to the deity, you have a relationship and the deity sort of takes care of you, you know, whatever your needs are. Many of the tantric deities don't really have a story. They don't have legends. Tara is one of the few that does, and Chenrezig has a few legends. But for the most part, they are iconographic images so that really you, you understand this is your own mind that you are appealing to, and that it is a method of projecting your own mind, personifying your own mind, so that you can explore and understand the qualities of your own mind. Now, the thing about Tara is that her associations, in fact, go beyond just the tantric deity. Tara is also um, personified or seen by many, many cultures as the mother of the universe, the mother out of which all things are born. Om Tare, Tutare. Ture, Soha, Om, all that exists. Tare, great respected mother. Tutare, remover of fear. Ture, bestower. I invoke the presence of the great enlightened Soha. ones who walk with us, dream with us, Sobe. speak with us, and in all ways support us. I invoke the presence of their teachings that they may flow easily and naturally in language that we may all understand. And I invoke the presence of the great community of practitioners, those who have made a strong commitment to manifest enlightened mind. May we be for each other a lamp post, a guide, a bridge. May we be for each other a way to remain stable and clear that we can all together manifest the great promise of enlightened mind. Take the time to affirm who you are and what you want to manifest. Take the time. This is why it's encouraged that you develop a daily practice. Even if you do it half-heartedly, even if you do it and forget it half the time, nonetheless develop it as much as possible. Because in those moments, it's just moments, it only takes a moment for you to connect with your essential nature. And when you connect with that, all things are possible. All things are clear. The way is clear. Whatever power we have created through this sincere practice, may it be for the benefit of all.
May all beings be happy.